this week's blog, I decided I would do a video about my hope chest. So basically what a hope chest is, is it's a chest like mine is, uh, let's see, let's see it. it's a plastic tub, well, it's not really a tub, that um, my mom got for me a couple years ago from Kmart. You can use like one of those plastic totes that you can get, you can use a big fancy like wood chest, it doesn't matter, just whatever you happen to have. Um, but a hope chest is a chest and that you put um, stuff in that you want for your future family. Like you can put in things that you've made, like things you've crocheted. Um, like right now, I'm crocheting an afghan. That's all I have because a certain dog of mine kind of tore out all the rest. And I'm making this drawing of a bird. I don't know if you can see it that well. Um, that so I'll end up framing um, and like matting it really nice and stuff, and then I can end up using that as a decoration for my house. You can put like baby blankets in there, burp cloths, um, think just anything that you make. You can put decorations um, in there for your house. You can put photo albums, family photo albums, and scrapbooks in there. You can put um, see what else do I have? You can put like any of your old toys that you had, or dolls that you had, or decorations that you had in your room. You can put baby clothes in there, like with your shopping, you have a little extra money, just pick up some baby clothes or some baby toys. Uh, you can pick up like silverware and plates and put in there. You can put in like family heirlooms, I guess you could say. Um, your baby pictures, your um, Bibles, like your first Bibles and stuff. So I'm going to show you guys what I have in my hope chest, just to give you guys an idea if any of you would decide you'd like to start this. I absolutely love it. I think it's an amazing thing to do, just so you can start preparing yourself for when you would have your own family, if you would end up having your own family. But I have this blanket. It's got like little sparkles in it and stuff. I think it's really cute. I did not make it. I got it at a garage sale. Um, and then this baby hat, which I also got at a garage sale. Then, like I said, my afghan, um, my picture, I have this little heart, you twist it, and it plays music, and it says you're special on it, it's got full hearts in it. I have this bracelet and this pendant, they were my grandma's, so they're like family heirlooms, I guess. I have stuffed animal book, or stuffed bunny rabbit. Press its foot and it does this annoying choo choo train thing. Um, I have this doll. She's handmade. I got her at, I think it's kind of like a farmer's market. It's this dolly. There's this little bear. Um, there's this pin cushion, and then right here you can put um, a thimble. Have this angel. I have like my own. Here's a photo album that has oops, like pictures of my family. It has my little girl pictures in it. That's pretty cute as a little girl, wasn't it? I have my baby photo album. And once I finish my scrapbook, I'm going to put that in there. I have my first Bibles. I have this little snow globe. And it's like a music box, too. I have a pass, or it's not a pacifier, a bottle piggy bank. I have had that since I was little. I have a baby girl balloon. I got it when I was first born and it's still inflated. So, I have a picture of me when I was a baby. I don't know if you can really see that that well because there's a glare. Um, I have Why God Loves Little Girls. It's like a little poem. I have a Precious Moments 
picture. It has Psalm 104.31 on it. I have this. It could be, work for a boy or a girl. It says, God's biggest blessings are little ones. You can hang stuff on it. I think I had that hanging up in my room till I was like almost 10. <laughs> I have this Tom Tom. It's an Indian Tom Tom. I got it when we went to an Indian reservation in New Mexico when I was little. And then, last but not least, I have this ring that my grandma gave me that I would never wear because it's way too fancy. So, oh, I have one more thing. Sorry, this is my favorite thing that I have in my hope chest. This little kitty cat statue. I got her at the sale barn in Strawtown, Indiana a few years ago, and I have no idea why I like her so much, but I just think she's absolutely pretty, it's, like, beautiful. Like, you move her in the light, and she kind of, like, changes colors, and she's got these little fake, like, gemstone eyes, and she has a chipped off ear, and she's been glued back together several times, but I love her, so she'd be a cute decoration in my house. Uh -oh. Oh. Another thing, it's way too big to put in my hope chest, but this is something I wanted to pass on to my kids, it's something that I made. I'll try to switch with the camera so you can see it, there we go. It is this guitar that I made. My dad helped me make it. I really see it. Well, mm, it's heavy. My dad helped me make it a couple years ago. So, just things like that, things that you make, um, things that you buy, things that you've had. Like, as you can see, most of the stuff in here, actually pretty much all of the stuff in here that would be like decorations and stuff like that are girl things because they're things I had when I was a little girl. So, just whatever you happen to have, whatever you happen to find, whatever you feel like you want to put in your hope chest. This is your hope chest, so make it unique and make it just part of you. Something that has pieces of you and pieces of your life in it. Um, don't copy off of, well, you can if you want to, but don't feel like you have to copy off of other people. You know, just make it be something unique to you and to who you are. So, that's it for this video. I had to try to throw this together kind of quickly because it's already 6.41 p.m. And I know I didn't do a vlog last week, so I definitely needed to do this this week. So. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and please comment and um, give me your feedback. Let me know if you liked it. Let me know if you guys decide that you want to do your own hope chest. And I hope that Yahweh blesses you and blesses your family and blesses your week. Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Love you all.